Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Master Nightfall ordeal, which is Novota, or The Disgraced. It's actually the re reimagined version of Omnigo, and it's long ass. Long time. So this is the loadout I'm going to be using. We are reverting to Ariana's Vow, and I'm using Line in the Sand, which was the season of Dawn uh, Linear Fusion Rifle. The most important part of the setup, really, if you're doing this, if you're using this, is uh, Linear Fusion Rifle Reserves, uh, sorry, Scavenger and Finder, and Hand Cannon Scavenger and Finder, because you're going to go through a lot of ammunition. So we're running with two hand cannons, obviously unstoppable and barrier. We've got arc and we've got solar, there's no void in this straight. We're running a war main cell build. So the three main ones create uh, war main cells with solar splash damage, uh, more range and more damage from them. You'll have seen there, I've also put a mod on my chest plate that gives me a, a, a finisher. It get, so what it does, it gives me a really powerful overshield when I go to finish enemies, which is really good for uh, finishing off barrier champions. Now in this strike, you literally have like something like 19 or 20 champions and three of them are unstoppable and they're all pretty near the boss. Up to the boss, it's just barrier upon barrier. So this first section and then the section after are the two kind of, mm, that sometimes they play out differently. So in this in this first one, basically you're gonna have a couple of enemies that are gonna dictate, as you can see here, what I'm doing is dictate the flow of the strike. So what I'm trying to do is put some heavy damage onto this server and finish them quickly. Uh, the the enemies that dictate this uh, strike, that this start bit, are in each of these sections. You're gonna have you'll see there that guy, the elite sniper, the elite vandal, because of how much damage they do. You're going to have a captain, an arc shielded, just a red bar captain, left and right. Now, the reason why they dictate is because, obviously, in, in this, arc damage is increased. So, they do arc damage. Arc damage and, and area of effect damage is increased. So, let's talk about how this first section kind of plays out. So, when you go in, I kind of try and always like to clear that right-hand side first. And if I can, opportunism, if I can take a barrier as well, I will. That's kind of the aim. Once you clear that, or take a barrier, it seems like, I'm not too sure about the barrier, uh, it's happened to me before, but it doesn't happen every time. Once you take, once you clear that right hand side, you are gonna get the next wave of ads. And you can see here, the next wave of ads are invisible marauders and shanks. When you come into this room, you'll have uh, a wave of ads, uh, Left and right, you'll have a captain and some elite snipers and some normal vandals and dregs. So, as you can see, I've, I've used, I'm utilizing the war main cell build as, as, as well as I can. That's what the seventh serif hand cannon is there for. Now, Ariana's vow, just a little thing about Ariana's. If you do a precision shot with the first shot, it increases the damage of, of the, your next precision shots. All the time I used it, I didn't know that. So, right, let's let's talk through exactly how to approach this this part. Clear out the right hand side first and take a barrier. That will get your second wave of ads, which will what that will do is that will clear the right hand side. Right, it gives you somewhere if you want. You can then go and chase down. You can maybe go and look for ammunition. Uh. I like, I don't, that's where I like to attack the left hand side from. See if I can get a war main cell. I'm looking here to get rid of this captain. There you go. So the captain, the elite snipers, as you can see there, they're the problem. They're always going to be your big issue. If you can, you can, as you might have noticed when you looked at my setup, I'm running with an arc chest plate. What that does is give me uh, arc resistance. So I'm looking here for this war mine, see if the next wave of ads coming in. We'll just break that. Now, at, at a certain point, it's normally about the halfway point, you're going to get a whole nother wave of ads coming in. This is where really, if you attack too quickly, and you just go hell for leather, just go straight in, then you're going to have an issue with the server as shielding the ads right away. What I do is I try and take as many ads as I can, just legitimately, 
Because if you do, they, you will get a run where the servers don't shield each other. So clear your clear your right side first, and then expect take take a take a take a barrier, and then expect the next wave of ads, which will come from the right, which basically is the vandals and the the vandals and the shanks. Once you take those down, if you want, you have got the right hand side to uh, to go and attack, go round the back. Fonts are light, obviously, because attrition's on are good. They they increase your your health regeneration for a, a good three to five seconds, so it makes you kind. I wouldn't say invulnerable, but you, you can go look for ammo. You can move position because it gives you constant health regeneration. So once you've taken the right and the second wave of ads has come from the right, the same will happen on the left. War main cells will clear out areas. And then once you've got <clears throat> basically one barrier left, <clears throat> the next wave of ads will come down the stairs from where we've just came from. So you might have noticed I've come upstairs. There's, there are two barriers waiting for us upstairs. I like to take one straight away now. You really have to be careful when you get up here. These first two sections are the only real sections in this where things can happen differently. Everything else, it's it's paint by numbers. You know, the exact same things will happen the exact same times. But in this, in these first two areas, ads can move. They can, you know, servers can shield uh, the enemies. And what I'm going to try and do, you can see I'm taking heavy fire here. I'm just trying to stop this server from regening all of its health. And hopefully allow the the wizards and the hive to do it do their thing and help me damage the server. So now I'm just gonna try and take them. There we go. So yeah, so here, once you take that server, now everything happens the same way. So you've took the server, uh, and, and the reason why it can be different is obviously they can shield enemies, and you know a lot of things can happen. Once you take them down, I would suggest taking the first server from where I did, and the second server from back here, and just don't take too many of the ads out. Let the ads deal, help deal with the server. And and basically now we're we're kind of past the fallen part for now. Uh, well, we're past the fallen part totally. We're now in the vex, the the hive part. So what I'm doing is I'm just collecting ammunition. Now, what you can do once you get to this part, if you are running low, low on ammo, you can go back downstairs because that ammo will stay there. It doesn't have a time limit where it will go away. You can clear this whole area, then scout back downstairs. So what I do with these knights is basically break their shield, switch to Ariana, two headshots, and and that's it. And it's kind of the same way with the champions. You can use the line the sand or any other linear linear fusion rifle you want to help you take them down. They do a lot of impact damage. If you've got one with a decent fire rate, I think my line in the sand is a is a five three three fire rate. You can see there the war mine cell is just crazy. Uh, then then you can you can put some good DPS down. So what we're going to do is you're going to keep getting these waves. So so you'll get two boomer knights with some with some acolytes. So you got to wait for them to go. But then you're going to get this wave of ads, which is thrall, and two, you you are going to have two arc shielded sword guys. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. Knights. They're just knights. Of course they are, I knew that, I was just testing you. Uh, don't go and attack any of the champions until those set, until these Shriekers open up. The Shriekers will open when you've taken all those waves out. So all you've got left now, I say all, is you've got two champions, an Arc Shielded Knight, and a, and a wave of Acolytes. In fact, you've got four champions. You've got two champions that you can see, and another two, two champions lower down behind them so what we're going to do the the, the the shriekers and the champions here they, they kind of got a, a range that if you don't go into their range they won't shoot at you so the left hand champions range is 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 basically the edge of the door 
that we're shooting through, that big kind of opening. If you go past that, yeah, he's, he's probably going to shoot you. So what I'm going to do is stick a grenade on him and just hit him with a couple of couple of shots with with Ariana. Now, I have the catalyst with Ariana, so you've seen there. I put it away and auto-reloaded. I would suggest if you don't have the catalyst for Ariana, I would 100% put a hand cannon loader mod on. And I would, I, the DPS may be a little bit slower, but what, just put a couple of shots. And when you're ready, where I store Arianas, you guys reload before you switch weapons so that it's ready for you to pull back out. I've got nine in my mag because I've got the Catalyst. Uh, and the Catalyst will come back into the game without a doubt. So I go right here after I've cleared those enemies. I go right here and... And I'm looking for a war mine cell because that will help me clear out the ads to the left. So I just stay right. It gives you cover from the two knights. And there we go. There's my war mine cell. So bang. You see all the, the rest of the acolytes are gone. I'm going to nip down here and get some special. And I'm picking up attrition. Oh, heavy as well. Lovely. I'm picking up attrition mods. I've got spoils of, uh, spoils of Warren as well. So if I finish a champion, I will get heavy. So heavy's not something I'm too worried about. I can isolate one of these champions. And then I can isolate one of the barriers. So that's the arc shielded knight gun. I'm going to use this as my base. You see it's a nice little bit of cover here. And I'm just going to use this one heavy. Just to... Just to get get him into the point where his shield is. Don't worry if the other knight goes and stands in front of him. As you can see, I did have that issue. Now I've got to break both the shields. And now I'll just use the heavy to finish him off. And I've got my well, should I need. But the other really interesting thing about the, the warlock, especially the, the, the bottom tree that I'm using, is if you jump up in the air and then ho hold raid, hold dodge, you will... You'll descend really quickly. Uh, you'll descend really quickly, and you'll get you'll get about a third of your health back. So it's really good for stuff with attrition on. So now I've isolated this champion, got him finishable, and now hello, slap, and I got a whole host of ammunition. Really nice. Felt myself up on heavy, uh, and we're good to go. And there we go. Nearly. Nearly felt myself up on special. I've got hand cannon reserves on. That's more important because Arianas, we're going to be using a lot of Arianas. So it's worthwhile on your chest plate to put reserves on. So what we're going, wanting to do is get this guy to turn around and hit him with some precision shots. And just, I'm, I'm trying to conserve Ariana. I'm not too bothered if these guys come in. I just want to keep this guy low. And there we go, he's dead. So I'll store my Arianas now, get it to reload. And I'll put... The great thing about these linear fusion rifles is because they do so much damage... Uh, so much damage with, uh, with the shots, it stuns the barrier and allows you to get another shot on the barrier. And I'm, I hope you guys I hope you guys noticed, when I went to finish, I got... A, got an overshield and I was actually getting hit by the two vandals in the back and it barely touched the overshield that's the idea because we've got attrition if you finish an ad you're more than likely gonna get because it'll be a, it'll be a champion so you're more than likely going to get uh an attrition one of those fonts of light an attrition font of light so you'll get the overshield which will stop you from taking any more damage so you gives you health generation a chance uh underneath the overshield and you'll get the attrition mod which will be giving you health back i've also got on my i'm just trying to get another brick of heavy which i was really lucky and did now i'll just drive over that heavy and just spiral through this section normally in this little bit here there's normally some exploders or some thrall but there was nothing here so we're right on to the part of the strike as i said at the start this is omnigo reimagined this is all you take the champions away and right up until the boss room, all the way through it, it's been very similar to the way Omnigo was. The boss room plays differently, which, which is really good. <laughs> because the boss was a pain in the backside, especially when they changed it and made it that you had to stay in the room. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to, for the first time, we're going to utilise the Dawn Chorus exotic helmet that I'm using. So, I'm going to throw a grenade to try and break the shield. And once 
she starts burning. See the damage she's taking? And I'm just throwing my... Trying to kill some other ads to keep the super going. And unfortunately, I managed to take quite a few of the throw. And you see the burn in it. It increases the burn effect. And you might see here... Uh, I'm just going to clear these ads. I haven't, I haven't really used it so far. Because I've had the, the rift. But I haven't used the... The ability to descend quickly to get health back. But I will in the boss room. You will see that. So, a couple of exploders. But you, are, you have got two barriers. I thought I was going to get done over here, actually. Because they, they, they started to come together. So I had to switch which one I was actually uh, dealing with. So I'll break this one's shield. You can see it's a precarious position. And there you go. That's exactly how you do it. And now I'm just going to put some on, on your boy. And I'm not too bored about finishing him because I can isolate the second champion. There we go. And descend again. You get about a third of your health back by doing that. So we'll get this guy. And what I'm going to do is... I'm, you see I broke his shield pretty quickly there. Now precision hits do a lot of damage. I got the overshield while I was finishing and I nearly, nearly, it was very close there. That's what I meant to pick up. Now, I meant to pick the font of attrition up and didn't, but it's all good. What happened here was, I think, because I never killed enough, because what I'd done was I focused a couple of shots on the ads, which is what I normally done do, but because they never... Because I never killed enough of them. My super didn't last as long as it normally does. So now I'm going to have to hit, hit Omnigo or Navota a, few, a couple of times just to get her to go. And you can see I hit her two or three times and she was gone. This boss is the very definition of tanky. Now, something I haven't said yet is this, this Nightfall is the exact polar opposite to the Glassway. Now, Glassway is a master GM. It's, it's, it's maybe not a cakewalk, it's not a walkover. But it's very, very simple up to the boss, and all the difficulty is at the boss. This, all the difficulty in this strike is in the first section. After that, it's, it's actually quite easy. So, standing where I'm standing, taking the ads the way I'm taking them, there's a reason why I'm I'm trying to save ammo. I know what ammo I've got. Uh, and I come over here. I actually thought that my health was fully regenerated, which is why I ran over here. Put a rift down and I'm going to attack this barrier up here. And I'm more trying to can save special. That's why I put a couple of, couple of shots on with the heavy. And we'll finish it with the primary. Not, it would be a waste of ammo to hit it with the energy. And um, I've got, I've got uh, on my gauntlets. I've got fastball, and I'm still getting used to. I, I, I it took me ages to get used to not having it on. Now it's doing the same. As I'm gonna have to get used to having it on because I threw that one like into another strike or something. So there's a couple of arc shielded. A couple of arc shielded knights up at the top here, uh, and that's why I keep switching. You can see I keep switching to my heavy because I'll do the same thing. I'll just do do our health descend. Make sure there's no exploders encroaching me. And now I'm looking for. I was. I think I was looking too high. Yeah. So we'll break the shield. I've decided. I'm just gonna make sure that that. That knight dies. I knew that I knew that the 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 thrall was encroaching me, but I wanted to make sure that that knight died. The knight at the back died because I'd done some decent work, and I didn't want it to regenerate its health while I was, you know, engaged with something else. Another descend. I've got a war main cell. I'm going to break the war main cell just to make see if it will clear any of the, any of the other ads. And as you can see, it cleared the the elites. So I'll hoover up this ammunition and then there's a ledge up the back here. We're just going to run past the barriers straight up onto the ledge. I picked up I picked up a font of light so you get that, that continued health recovery. So here, I know I can isolate one of these barriers. 
You can see I've dropped heavy from the first barrier. I'm still going to try and isolate one and just see that bricky shield and then just put put some on. I'm going to throw a grenade at those ads because when you go to finish, I'm just waiting for him to get his shield back because I don't want to break his shield and kill him in the process. If I've went, I, I've actually went to pick up that the ammunition. I went to finish an ad down here and forgot about those throw, and they've killed me. Which is one of the one of the things that I decided that I would uh, I would investigate with the the finisher mod, the arc mod, because it's actually a charge with light mod, and we're not doing charge with light. So here we are at the boss. The boss is super tanky. He takes a lot of hits to put put the boss down. We really uh, don't have the weapons to melt the boss with weapons. Why don't we have them? Because I'm sick and tired of using a sword or the Xeno. And I'm not giving anybody a chance to moan. He's running the anarchy again. I'm not doing it. So that's why I'm trying to find weapons that maybe other people haven't. Maybe some of you guys haven't considered. So again, same thing. I, I, I threw the grenade trying to get the burn effect. Uh, trying to get the burn effect from the, from the grenade. So that all my shots from the super would register as burnt shots. Now this is where the, the tedious nature of the nightfall comes in. Literally, now we're going to have to play the waves. So take the, take the boss down. Watch out for the next wave of ads. There is a rule of thumb. And the rule of thumb is, wherever the boss is, you're not going to be. But I, 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 that's common sense, but that's kind of the way, you know, that is kind of the way it works. If the boss is down there, you're going to be up here. And just make sure, once you feel like you've done a couple of shots, you see the damage the boss has got, now we're getting another wave of ads. Move. So I always attack the wave that comes up here, except for the middle wave with the, the unstoppables. I always attack it from over here, but... Then again, the, you know, we're going to go down to the bottom when it comes to that wave. Nearly every time she disappears, I go down the bottom. So, once you've done a, quite a few hits, just come out, your, come out of your... Come out of your ADS and uh, check to see... Check to see where, where she is. If there's any ads in. So you can see here I was, a, I was a little bit. The reason why I got hit so many times there. Is is that thing. And I've said it before in videos. I went to change to my special. And it put my primary back out. And vice versa. If I go to take my heavy out. It brings my special out. It's, it's, it's kind of. It just feels. The timing feels weird. So now. We've got the boss to the point where we're getting my first. Kind of major wave of ads. So. Come down here. See, this is the place you'll come at when she disappears. This is the first. This is the first place you come. Second time, second time she disappears, you're gonna come down here because you're gonna get an unstoppable. And then once you kill that unstoppable, you're gonna get out of dodge back up to the top because you're gonna get another unstoppable down here. So what we're looking for with doing this is warming cells. They just they just save time and they save hassle. So we broke, broke that knight shield, so I'll put two shots on him. We know that there's two more knights up there. One on, on ground level, because you get four knights, five knights in this wave. Uh, but she won't become active until you take this knight up top. So, you see I've still got another ad. Finish that other ad off. And then there's a knight up here in this kind of cupboard. Be careful with your heavy, because... If you're, if you're running a, a loadout like this, then you're going to need to keep heavy for when these knights come. Because you're going to get a couple of waves of these. So, what we're going to do is, now we're just going to start whittling her down. And and, and for, for basically an energy primary, this, this weapon does actually decent damage. So, I haven't got my super yet. But every time we get our super, we're going to employ the same strategy. Grenade, and then start melting her. So as you can see, what I'm doing is, I keep coming at my ADS and checking. Because if you're not aware of where, of where the thrall are, they, they can overcome you very quickly. But the nightfalls, as they are, 
you can see there I, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just throw a grenade just to make sure I stay safe uh, the night falls as they are in this current moment that they take a bit longer to complete and I don't think that's got anything to do with the night falls themselves I, obviously I think this is to do with uh, sunset now I'm all for sunset you can see now I'm gonna go super you can see she's taking burn numbers, explosive damage. The ads are coming, so I'm going to use my super to clear this wave of ads. Hopefully, still have a shot, which I, which I didn't. I Not for the boss, but I cleared the whole wave of ads with the super. All added to the score as well, to be fair. So, yeah, sunsetting. When they removed all the weapons from the game, or at least 90% of them, I'm all for it. I still am all for it. But they just never brought in any kind of diversity within the weapon setup. So we've got my next wave here. So every time I get a wave, you can tell I'm not taking any chances. Uh, I'm down here, giving myself a better range on the ads. And just every time I see a war mine cell, I'm, give, I'm breaking it to see. Well, I shouldn't really do any damage to the boss, but you never know. So I'm trying I'm trying to just just get a little bit a little bit of head glitch going on here just to just to keep myself safe because you see you do take a ton of damage from her. And having the descend with the health is really good. Every time you break her shield, you will momentarily stun her. So we'll keep checking, make sure our wave isn't gonna encroach us. Uh, yeah, so outside of the Xenophage, which has been in the game quite a while. Now, now that now that we've got this boss, uh, we're gonna go down here. Now that the boss has disappeared, we know we're getting the we're gonna get a whole mess of acolytes. We're gonna get a ton of acolytes, but we're gonna get an unstoppable. So I'm looking here to see if I can maybe limit the amount of acolytes that are gonna come down here. Uh, sometimes they drop down from above, but we actually want a war main cell now. Just to our right, you see they are dropping from above just to our right, just here. This has a little bit of cover. And there's my war main cell. I clear some of the acolytes. Now, if you've got... The reason why I'm saying, even though I'm not using the Xenophage, the reason I'm saying put on put on the mod that gives you war main cells if you create solar, solar damage is because the war mains themselves can create other war main cells. The more you kill the more more one main cells you make so i just put that on i shot that i stopped him and then shot the one main cell so he would take damage from it so now we've got two unstoppables and I've, i know i've got heavy there but i'm i want to stop him because in my experience you can never have enough heavy and the cool thing is as you can see i've got two bricks i'm up to full complement 17 rounds it actually takes me back up top, which is where I was going anyway. So, just now I'll take this unstoppable. As I say, the, no, the, the, the nightfall now is pretty slow going because, as I say, if I'd have been using one of the accepted meta weapons, I would have done this a lot quicker. I actually done a nightfall. I put it on Twitter. I was like, oh, I've done a crazy nightfall with a crazy loadout. And... I've done a nightfall run with the Titan, right? Using the seventh Seraph saw. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I got I, I got the completion. It wasn't it. I can't say, and I'm not going to sit here and say oh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad when I got it, but this nightfall was just it's an exercise in patience because of you know not having uh, diverse loadouts and. It, if you're if you're just running this, I just fancy running the nightfall. Then diversity doesn't matter. The reason I'm saying about diversity is because uh, I'm just trying to get that explodes up, explode and hopefully it finishes off anything that's left. I have to think about diversity. No, because people just. I, th I feel like people just get bored. Well, people have let me know. They just get bored of seeing the same loadouts. So now I'm having to try and find loadouts that work. That aren't the Lament or Xenophage or any of those loadouts. 
I'm just going to do the same thing now. I've got hit a couple of shots on the boss. Just try to finish all these ads with the super. And it's sometimes, especially with that warlock, it can be really difficult. Simply because when it's thrall, faster moving enemies, they just kind of run right underneath you. And it's, 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 sometimes it can be difficult to get the hits on them with the warlock. Yeah, so if you're doing, if you're making content, people not always just want to see the lament or this or that or the next thing. And I've been running Xenophage as as like a replacement, but it's, it's really it's really annoying and difficult to cut, to keep coming up with new weapons when when we're sunsetted and we're limited to what weapons we can actually use. It's really difficult, especially when people say, "Oh, you're using this weapon again." It's like, man, you. I'm making a guide on the easiest way to do this. I'm not doing challenge. This isn't, you know, I don't make those sorts of videos where it's like, look at me, I'm such a good player. Who? People maybe sooner or later will realise that I'm not interested in getting famous. I'm interested in helping you guys get through stuff. You know, and, and as a testament to that, I, I don't use the anarchy. So yeah, as I was saying anyway, I just try and get my descend to get some health back. I've done a I've done a Titan run using the seventh Seraph saw, and I got the hundred k barely. That was the first time I'd actually done this nightfall. So I'm I'm kind of I'm unsure whether to upload it, but if you guys want to see it, I will. I'm probably because it was like it took forever to do. It was like forty old minutes. Uh. But it, it was just an interesting loadout. Probably, probably I was when I when I was thinking about putting it on, uh, online. I was going to say the worst loadout for a hundred k ever, and it was because of the seventh serf saw. Just couldn't do the damage to the boss and the titan super not being great for boss damage. Pick up some heavy. Just keep your. I'm just keeping my eye out because I know that we're coming up to the point where I'm stuck and getting the waves of exploders and the waves of. Uh, Arc shielded captains. So yeah, hopefully in the very near future. So now we're gonna get these waves of uh, these waves of uh, exploding thrall, and we'll just take this knight out, and then this is where I go when they come, when they the arc shielded knights and the. Not so much, I'm not too worried about the Exploders, but the Arc Shielded Knights, their splash damage can be, like, rough. So I've, I've got a well should I need it. I'm just trying to get some, some cheeky explosions. You can see that one there, and there's the other Knight that I was waiting for. As soon as I take the Knights down, oh, there's another one. As soon as I take the Knights down, and I can come out... I'm back down because the Exploders are easy to manage. It's those Arc Shielded Knights. As I've said, they, they kind of creep up on you. And with that level of damage from Splash, you can't mess about with them. So when you know the Arc Shielded Knights are coming out, as I say, she'll disappear. You saw her disappear. We, we are going to get another wave of them. So I'm not just going to start. That's why I haven't been burning my Heavy. I'm trying to keep my Heavy. Make sure I've got Heavy from when they come. There's a lot of Exploders here and they kind of split up when you're around here. So you just have to keep keep your head on a swivel here. It's a good place to be. Just break that. See if I get any random kills with it. I did. I got two. And we'll just go around here. Take these last couple out. We've got one more. I think I think we've got one more wave of arc shielded knights. I know there. I can see the explorer in the middle. There we go. And we'll just grab some special. And now, literally, she's going to stay down the bottom. As you see, I'm, I'm being really cautious here because these guys, they you don't want to be ADSing and one of them creep up on you. So now, I'm just going to I'm going to use some heavy. I've got quite a bit. I know I can keep some, and I'm wanting to finish her with my super, so I'm not going to use my super. But literally, this is all we're going to do now. Exactly what we done last time. When the arc, when the arc shielded knights come out, we're going to go back up top. No problem. And I'm gonna keep keep checking. Make sure they don't they you know 
Make sure they don't get a bead on me. I'm just going to grab some special. Be careful when you go around this area and you're jumping, especially on the Warlock. She can get caught up in so many different things and she does a ton of damage. Navota. Crota's second cousin removed by marriage. There we go. Now we should get... Yeah, there we go. So what I'm going to do right off the bat, I'm not going to take any chances. Straight up into my little cubby hole. Throw a grenade down for any spare ads that might be stupid enough to walk into it. And where's the second knight? There he is. Now, this, I'm, I'm looking, I can, I could, I was, I remember this. I was looking, I was like, where's that ad? And then I was like, oh man, I think it's right underneath me. <laughs> and there we go. Now that that ad's down, I can come out. It's only the arc shielded knights I'm, in, I'm, I'm kind of wary of. Because of their splash damage, as I've already said. So we'll just go up here. Over the other side. And break that, which should kill just about all the ads in the area. There's a, there's a thrall left. I do have another one, which kills the thrall. So what I'm going to do is just whittle her down until I think that my super will kill her. Because although the super does a lot of damage, I mean, you'll see here how much how much damage, how much health she, I have to get her down to before I super her. Put a couple of heavy shots on her. I felt... I felt here was a good time. So I'm just going to finish with the super and that is it. That's how much health the super takes roughly. It's big. It has a lot of damage but your super doesn't really last very long on this. And that's the run guys. Just make sure you stick and move. When she teleports you're coming down here. And, and that's the run. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing different weapons and stuff. I am going to try in the coming weeks. To do content that's not using the the meta that everybody seems to be using, and if you want to see that Titan run, if you can if you can pick if you can work through the pain, let me know, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.